Hello everyone, my name is Kai, and I'm from Shandong University. Thanks for your listening to my presentation. Uh, the title is Finding Bit-Based Division Property for Sufferers with Complex Linear Layers. This is a joint work with Qin Ju and Mei Qin. Here is the outline of this presentation. I will first introduce our main results, then give the background knowledge about the division property and the motivation of this paper, why we focus on the division property progression model of the complex linear layers. Thirdly, I will show the ideas of our new model. The last are the applications of this new model on AES, LED, Clifier, and the Chameleon suffers. In this paper, we propose a new model of the propagation of division trials over a complex linear layer, which can be used in the automatic search for the bit-based division property. The complex linear layer includes, uh, for example, the MDS matrix used in AES or Clifier suffer, and it should be different from the simple case, for example, the Bit based uh, the linear layer used in present or gift suffers, or uh, the binary matrix used in skinny suffer. And our new model consists of n squared plus 1 constraints. Uh, when we use the MIOP or set tools to describe the propagation of the division trials, we model these constraints into our model. Our new model is a universal and a precise one. It means it can trace the division trials precisely, and it can be used in almost all the cases for all kinds of linear layers. With this new model, we can handle AES, LED, Clifier, and Chameleon Suffer, which cannot be handled well before. In this paper, we focus on the conventional bit-based division property, which is also known as two-subset bit-based division property. Uh, for all the vectors u belonging to f2n, uh, we can divide them into two parts according to this formula. And here, x is a multi-set, which could be the multi-set of the pretaxis, suffertaxis, or the uh, intermediate states. And uh, for u in the first part, uh, this summation will be always zero. And uh, for u in the remaining part, uh, the vector of the summation could not be could not be predicted. So if uh, the sax, the sub for x on the pretaxis and uh, the intermediate states, we can trace the propagation of the division property from the uh, multi set of the pretaxis to the intermediate states and to the multi-set of the suffertaxis. And finally, we can get the zero-sum uh, zero sum property of the suffertaxis, and the integral distinguisher could be obtained. To model the propagation of the division property, Xia et cetera and Asia Crypt 2016 proposed the conception of division trial. A sequence of vectors such uh, like this, k0, k1, kr, is called a, a division trial if for every ki it can propagate to ki plus 1. Uh, then, an important topic in the division property is to model the propagation rules of these division trials. Also, in Xiang et cetera's paper, they proposed a method with the help of the MIOP or set model to trace the division trials according to the propagation rules of division property. And uh, uh, let the solutions be valid division trials like k0, k1, k2 to kr. Uh, we can call the MIOP or set model uh, to solve the propagation of the division trials. MIOP or set tools are well known in automatic search uh, these years and uh, uh, they can be used to solve some constraint problems. So the most important is to model our uh, problem into the MIOP or set model. Uh, in the division property, 
if k0 to the jth unit vector uh, is infeasible, then we can say the jth bit of the suffer text is zero sum. And to model the propagation of the divergent trials, the propagation rules between k0, k1, k1 to k2 uh, is very important. And uh, the, for the conventional bit-bit division property, uh, the propagation rules can be concluded uh, as this. If you could uh, propagate to V, if and only if there exists U prime larger or equal than U, satisfying that this formula is a monomial of this formula. And uh, before our paper, the propagation rules for uh, exclude all, copy, and and as box have been well modeled in the previous papers. However, the complex linear layer has not been modeled perfectly. But we notice that uh, many important suffers take a uh, complex linear layer as their diffusion layer. For example, uh, AS clavier take MDS matrix as their diffusion components. Meantime, uh, bit-based division property is currently the most effective method to find uh, uh, integral distinguishers. Pitfully, no perfect method to evaluate the security of the suffers with complex linear layers against bit-based division property. So we are interested in how to model the uh, propagation of division trials over the complex linear layer perfectly. Before we introduce our new model, I want to recall briefly two previous works. The first one is called uh, S-Method in our paper, which was proposed by Sun, etc. The basic idea uh, of S-Method is to present the matrix multiplication by copy and XOR. Then, if we want to model the propagation from X to Y. Firstly, we decompose X into a sequence of support variables by the copy propagation. And then, we use, uh, use these uh, support variables uh, to generate each YI. And finally, we will get the propagation from X to Y. The advantage of S method is it is universal because any complex linear layer could be modeled uh, by XOR or an, uh, and a copy. Uh, then it can be applied to any linear layer. Uh, but it has a disadvantage because uh, it uh, introduces many uh, support variables. Then it may introduce some redundant vectors and uh, trials. Then some balanced bits could be missed. The second method is called the ZR method. Uh, it was proposed by John and Raymond. The basic idea of the ZR method uh, is based on a very important observation that every trial over the complex linear layer uh, is one-to-one -one mapped to a corresponding submatrix. If the trial is valid, then the submatrix is immutable. So it has an uh, advantage uh, is that uh, it can trace each valid trial precisely and uh, it will not lose any information. But it has a disadvantage uh, because uh, their, their model is more complex. So uh, before our paper, it can be applied to only binary matrices. The matrix, the binary matrices, uh, for example, the uh, matrix in the mixed column operation in skinny suffer, such uh, as this, and uh, all the elements uh, in F24 are all 1 or 0. Uh, this is called a binary matrix. Considering that uh, uh, the S method uh, is universal but uh, not precise, and uh, the CR method is precise but not universal, 
And uh, our paper proposed a new model, which is universal and precise. Uh, it can be precisely applied to non-binary matrices, so it can be used to model the MDF matrix. And we can prove that fiber on AES has no bit-based division property. And our new model can be precisely applied to non-invertible matrices. Then we can reproduce the k-dependent distinguisher of fiber on AES, uh, which will be uh, introduced later. And uh, uh, the second contribution is we get some new or better bit-based bit division property. For example, uh, we get a seven round integral distinguisher for LED sulfur, and uh, uh, it is also the longest one. Uh, we also get uh, the six round bit based division property for MIST1. And uh, uh, before our paper, they are, uh, there is only the word based division property for MIST1. Uh, since uh, with the sixth round word based division property, uh, the missed one uh, was broken by total et cetera and uh, crypto 2016. So uh, we prove that we cannot find a better bit based division property. Uh, even we can model the uh, linear layer of missed one. Uh, for Clavier and Camellia, we also get uh, the bit-based division property for the first time, and uh, uh, it can uh, they cannot be handled before our paper. Here is the overview of our new model. Uh, the readers should uh, notice that in default, we always assume that uh, the Hamming widths of U and V are always equal. Uh, for a primitive matrix M uh, belonging to F2N times N, the M is the corresponding matrix of the complex linear layer, and uh, uh, we always denote it in the uh, F2 field. Then, uh, the variant trial UV is valid if and only if U and V meet the following constraints. Uh, the E is our identity matrix, and the EIJ is the element of E located in the ith row and the gist column, and it is similar for MIK. And the uh, uh, MVU expand prime is a support matrix with n squared uh, support variables. Uh, we can always describe this uh, n-squared matrix uh, constraints into our automatic search model uh, over the complex linear layers. And uh, for the remaining part of the automatic search model, uh, it is uh, uh, the same as the model uh, used in the previous papers. Uh, then our model uh, totally need uh, n-squared constraints, but the constraints are four degree constraints. Uh, as a result, uh, our constraints is, uh, are not suitable for the MIOP model because the MIOP uh, is good at uh, describing the linear constraints, but uh, sometimes it cannot be used to, to describe the high degree constraints. Uh, so in our paper, we use the set tools uh, to describe this constraints. In the next, I will introduce how we get such constraints. Uh, our starting point of the new model is the theory John and Raymond proposed in uh, the, their method. And they find that if uv is a valid division trial, uh, then uh, a matrix of m called mvu is always invertible. Uh, let's see the example. Uh, if we want to check whether u and v is a valid division trial over this matrix M, and we can put the uh, put u here and put v here, and uh, uh, according to the one elements of u and v, we can extract a submatrix, and this matrix is M V U, 
uh, uh, remember that we have assumed that u and v have the uh, equal Hamming weights. So MVU is always a square matrix, and uh, then we can check whether it is invertible, and uh, if so, u v is valid. Uh, to check whether MVU is invertible, uh, a common knowledge is that if MVU has an invertible matrix, then it is invertible, and uh, uh, it is equivalent to whether this equation has solutions. <clears throat> so in the automatic search model, if we can describe these uh, relationships uh, into the uh, automatic search model, or we solve this problem. However, there are many changes to describe these constraints. Firstly, we do not know the exact UV and their Hamming weights. Uh, the second is uh, uh, a result uh, that MVU, uh, the exact size of MVU is not known. However, in the automatic search model, when we want to use a variable, we always need to declare it uh, beforehand. And uh, to declare it, we should know its exact size. But now, we do not know them. Uh, to solve this uh, mid, uh, to solve this problem, uh, we propose a, a new method. Uh, our method is to define a support matrix MVU expand, uh, and the MVU expand is defined as this uh, according to the one element where i and u j. We can assign the MVU expand i j uh, with m i j, and for other ij, uh, it is of the zero. Uh, let's see the uh, graph. Uh, this is the uh, matrix M, and uh, this is the U, and this is the V. Uh, to uh, the expand uh, matrix of this submatrix is this. You can see that uh, the submatrix is located in its original places, but for other positions, uh, they are always zero. Uh, it has an uh, advantage uh, that we can always know this uh, the size of this matrix beforehand, uh, because it is uh, the same as the original M matrix. Then we could use the uh, 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 automatic search tools uh, such as FTP uh, to declare this matrix, uh, use this sentence. Then so we can use the matrix MVU expand to help us to determine whether MVU is invertible. And uh, our theorem says that MVU is invertible if and only if MVU expand uh, times MVU expand prime equals EV has solutions. Please note that EV is not an identity matrix. Uh, it is defined as this. Uh, I will uh, briefly introduce the basic idea of the proof. Uh, without rules of generality, we assume MVU is located in the top left corner uh, in M. And then uh, you can check that the left is totally equivalent to the uh, right two equations. Uh, firstly, we look at the second equation. Uh, since x0, 1 is a free variable, then the second equation always has solutions. Uh, then we look at the first equation. Uh, we can see that if this equation has solutions, then MVU is a invertible matrix. And uh, it, uh, if it has no solution, then MVU uh, is not uh, an invertible matrix. Then we transform the problem of determining whether MVU is invertible into a uh, constraints like this. And these constraints can be uh, described easily uh, in the automatic search model because uh, the size of all the variables uh, can be known in advance. Uh, the last step is to put all the things together and uh, make it a compact algorithm. Uh, this is based on several observations. For example, 
uh, the MUV export matrix can be generated by the following formula. Uh, you can check it. And the uh, EV can be uh, written as this. So we can put all the things together. Then we get the uh, constraints uh, we uh, introduced uh, earlier. Very interesting. Uh, we find that uh, we can remove the invertible condition of John and Raymond theorem. Uh, so our method and uh, their method are suitable for the non-invertible matrices, and the concrete proof could be found in our paper. The last part of my presentation is uh, uh, other applications. Uh, firstly, uh, I will introduce the k-dependent integral distinguisher. Uh, this, disting this distinguisher was proposed by Sun et cetera and Crypto 2016. And the key point of this distinguisher is here. The two bytes are always equal. Uh, to uh, construct such a special input uh, states, uh, we prepare a shrink matrix like this. And uh, if this matrix multiply this vector, then we will get the special vector here. So we will describe this constraints uh, with our new model uh, into the automatic search problem. Uh, and finally, we can uh, solve this problem and uh, get uh, that and find that after four round AES uh, inverse, uh, all the pretext bits are balanced. The second application is the longest bit-based development property of LED suffer. Uh, as is well known, the LED suffer takes a uh, MDS matrix as its diffusion layer. And uh, we can use our model to describe the propagation over uh, this operation. And uh, finally, we can get uh, the seven round distinguisher like this mm, with one uh, bit of pretext uh, constant and the other pretext bits active. Uh, and all the subtext bits are balanced. Uh, the third application is the bit-based development property for MIST-1. Uh, 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 it can not be handled before uh, our paper. Uh, we handle uh, the FL function and the inner structure of FO function and FI function uh, uh, use our method. Um, for example, uh, this part and uh, this part, we use our model to describe the uh, propagation of different trials. <coughs> and, uh, fi and finally, we reproduce the uh, integral distinguisher uh, for sixth round uh, uh, missed one. And it is the same as the word based different property uh, total proposed. Uh, the first one is the bit based development property of a clavier. And uh, the clavier uh, uses also the MDS matrix as its diffusion layer. And uh, we can also describe this uh, MDS matrix using our model. And then we find the uh, 10 round uh, distinguishers like this. Uh, the last application is the uh, chameleon suffer. And uh, we can describe the linear layer this using our uh, new model. <coughs> and uh, uh, it gets a higher efficiency. Uh, the FL and FL inverse uh, function located after the first round. And uh, finally, we get the uh, bit based division property for seven round chameleon for the first time. Uh, at last, uh, I want to uh, give a summary of, uh, of my presentation. Uh, our main result is a new and effective SAT model to describe the divergent property propagation over a complex linear layer, which can be used in MDS or any other kinds of matrix. Uh, we also remove the invertible condition from the R method, making it universal even for non-square matrices. 
uh, will you produce or find some new integral distinguishers for many important sufferers? With many experiments, uh, we have several tips uh, for choosing the models. For binary matrix, uh, our and their method are suitable. And for non-binary matrix with signs n less than or equal 64, ours is the best choice. Uh, and for non-binary matrix with a larger size, uh, S method will be the only choice. Thanks for your attention.